let a bunch of energetic 12 year olds loose in a recording studio and you could end up with something just one step short of absolute chaos you could also end up with something like this <laughs> Many recording stars wear weird and wonderful hairstyles and clothes to draw attention to themselves. In this case, the shaved heads and Indian-style dress simply identifies the group as Hari Krishnas, Prahlad and the Krishna Kids, a bunch of 12-year-olds recording their own album. This is not an LP of Hari Krishna music. In fact, the album contains songs about world peace and hope for the future with a 20th century beat. It's also an album that's been picked up, will be financed and distributed by the recording industry giant EMI. In the last two months we've recorded over 14 songs. Gary Anderson normally acts as public relations spokesman for the Hare Krishnas. For the past three months he's been executive producer of a recording project that will set EMI back at least $50,000 to talk peace and hope for the future through music. These first generation of Krishna kids are actually, um, I think they've got a lot to show the world. And uh, just what Pallad is doing, he's more or less asking all children around the world to write letters to Mr. Reagan or Mr. Gorbachev to let them know their point of view because it's going to be their future. It all began when 12-year-old lead singer Prahlad wrote to Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev pleading for the release of Hare Krishnas imprisoned in the USSR. From that came a protest song aimed at Gorbachev. And now the LP, which contains this plea to Ronald Reagan. seems to be a message in every one of those songs, doesn't there? They're, they're very much a peace message, isn't it? It's either peace, we want a better world, or we want the Hare Krishnas to be freed. We want to see the start of the 21st century? Yeah, well, it's part of a better world, you know. That's both, you know. It's got free the Soviet Hare Krishnas, let all our friends be free, and also we want to see the start of the 21st century, which means don't blow the... Don't drop the bomb, you know, we want to see. Don't blow the place apart. Yeah, we want to have our life too.
working on that peace project thing? Yeah. You make sure you stay there and get it finished before dinner, won't you? Don't forget Uncle David's coming over tonight. He hasn't been over for a while, has he? It'd be good to see him again. You know he's been over in New Zealand, don't you? He's a very busy man now. Very important. Children. 